everyone! I have already graduated, but I am here for one more video for Baltic Aviation Academy. As usual, we gathered some questions from you and we will answer them today. To find an answer to this question, let's look at the example of takeoff procedure for Boeing 737. After rotation and liftoff, there are no actions below 400 feet above ground level except uh, gear up on positive rate and silence the warnings. At 400 feet, you need to select or just check your lateral navigation and continue climbing on uh, takeoff safety speed V2 till your acceleration altitude. On acceleration altitude, climb thrust uh, needs to be set and acceleration from V2 to flaps up or cruise speed should be initiated. After that, when speed allows, you may retract flaps on schedule. Acceleration altitude depends from the aircraft, airline or airport procedure, but usually it is around 1000 to 1100 feet above ground level and it is 3000 feet if you're flying from the airport which requires noise abatement. These are stabilizer trim wheels and they are spinning when stabilizer trim is in motion. So pilots can monitor it work. There are two push to talk buttons in Airbus A320. One is on a side stick and the second one is on a radio panel on a pedestal. Always choose wisely whom are you transmitting. Do not ask for coffee on ATC frequency and of course do not request clearance for departure from your cabin attendants. Localizer shows the lateral displacement of the aircraft from the center line as a part of instrument landing system or ILS. Localizer itself consists of two overlapping beams, one amplitude modulated at 90 Hz and second one at 150 Hz. If there is more 90 Hz modulation than 150 Hz, needle is deflected to the right, giving us a fly right command. If there is equal depth modulation, uh, indicator will show us that we are exactly on the center line. Slats are aerodynamic surfaces on the leading edge of the wing, which, when deployed, allow the wing to operate at higher angle of attack. A higher coefficient of lift is produced as a result of angle of attack and speed. So, by deploying slats, an aircraft can fly at slower speeds or take off and land in shorter distances. They are usually used while landing or performing maneuvers which take the aircraft close to the stall, but are usually retracted in flight to minimize drag. The toilet is equipped with a smoke detector, while the toilet trash bin has an automatic fire extinguisher with a thermal plug which melts in case of fire. For every non-precision instrument approach you have a chart. And on this chart there is a small table with your vertical speed required depending on your ground speed. Also, there is a formula for this kind of calculations, which stated uh, vertical speed equals to altitude to lose times your ground speed divided by 60 times distance to go. Does it look scary for you? Well, there is a rule of thumb for a normal 3 degrees glide slope. Just multiply your ground speed by 5 and you will get your vertical speed required. 
Thank you for attention, thank you for watching videos and good luck to you all who are pursuing their dreams in aviation. Bye!